Your starters are evolving in Pokemon Tempest, Chapter 5, or Episode 5, whatever the frick it is. Is that the fifth version of Tempest? As in, like, there were four other sequels before this. Well, there were in chapters, but I mean, like, in a game version, like, well, there was Black and White, Black and White 2, there was a Black and White 5. That makes more sense. Anyway, in this thing, I assume that our starters will evolve. I know it's Hello, a bold Pokemon theory, Masters. but Welcome still. back to the wonderful region of Solympia. This is episode 5 of Pokemon Tempest, and of course, if you haven't already, check out the four episodes that are already here on We're the channel. We're going to do this for every single for gosh watch. darn episode, As a quick recap, after taking on the Rumble Town Gym and winning your first gym coin, you're traveling back to Trickle Town via Route 3. Here, your rival Cass has stopped you. The wind is whistling, and she's demanded her first rematch. Her Pokemon and you only went and won, you and now you're stuck. Pokemon. Pokemon is glowing with a white light. Your starters, could it be time for them to evolve? Yes, it is. Tuguana, Embel, and Kinfisher are all evolving into their first stage evolution. In the middle stage, they're already in their first stage. Well, first stage evolution, so. Eh, it looks alright. Well, would you look at that. Tuguana has evolved into Guanagoon, the goonish Iguanagoon. Pokemon, and is now a grass rock type. What Ooh, looks like rocks cool. and even a little bit of diamond jetting out of its head and claw, these Pokemon don't mess around. They've been known amongst grass types for being a bit of a bully, and they crash their heads together in a display of strength. Their diamond nail can cut through just about anything. A cool Pokemon, and I can't wait to see what it yeah, evolves into. Cool, yeah. And this is great if you picked Tuguana, but what about if you picked Emble? It's Let's see. Eh, it's okay. I don't like the stuff on its ah, butt. Congratulations! But I guess if they it looks like Emble has evolved into Brazian and like gained the ground typing, tail. making it fire ground. The ground this Pokemon is, cool, is the though. fire belly Pokemon and it has gotten so hard that it needs to wallow in mud to type. keep itself cool. Well, it already had it in the grass and becomes type, so part of its biology. If this Pokemon can't cool down, black smoke will billow from its nose and the vents in its body, letting out a screeching noise. A very nice addition to the team. And of course, for those of you who chose Kinfisher. Looks pretty cool. Kind ah, of majestic. finally. Congratulations. Kinfisher has evolved into Heronin. This water flying type is the sword play them Pokemon good and is practiced in the art of sword dancing. <clears throat> it uses its beak to challenge others of its kind to battle. It practices its precision and balance by focusing on full the and aiming to slice them, like, them in half. Like on it. As the wind swirls like around you, you and your partner Pokemon jump for joy, and you're elated to add this evolution to your team. Whatever. <laughs> Even with your evolved Pokemon, you still won't win against me next time we battle. Losing three I times my in a row wouldn't make me I'm much of a rival at all. Ox, at Just least. wait. Next battle we have like this, my Pokemon and I will be throwing you right back into the sea where you belong, Stormer. Cass! Jo Professor? Joke's on oh, you. So if I chose you. the water the type, they're gonna like the sea. How very kind of you. Come, come. The both of you. There's a breeze coming along. Let me escort you back to my lab. Cass, you remember my colleague, Professor Lawrence? And Champion, I believe you had the chance to meet too. Ho <laughs> ho, indeed. I say, how'd things go with that Moxie? Did you get into a spot of trouble? No trouble at all. They seem nice. Seems nice, you say? Hardly my experience. <laughs> I see you helped. Oh, well, she blames you for the snubble problem. Team Snooze? I met them in the Silicon <coughs> Passage. I say, I don't think we have those in Norclo. Who exactly are Team Snooze? Face bomb. Explain. They were once a powerful evil organization dedicated to, I say, taking naps. Good grief. It sounds quite preposterous, but it would seem that they're no Oh no, they're going to fall asleep on us. You know, professors, I've seen plenty of people like that wearing their robes and showing up at the docks these past few months. I don't think we could discount them as a threat just yet. Indeed. All things Look are right at your professor caution. there. I say, when I first came here, I made the mistake of letting loose my Snebel into the wild. I suspect the Rataru population have struck in part for that. I'm awfully sorry. All things change. Some for the worse, some for the better. The apology for the Pokemon is appreciated by them, but your research has helped many Pokemon here on the island, my friend. Oh, Professor, I have How? so much to learn from Explain. you still. It's like you have a third eye when it comes to Pokemon. You see things that no one else does. Earlier, he told me that he sent something down on Fruit 3, and look, he was right. He came back with both of you. Tell me then, 
Do you both have a gym coin? I have two, actually. Wow. How'd you get two? Right you are, Cass. And the champion has only one. Ha! Huh. Well, I see you must have gone via Route 2 and battled the gym leader, Clora. I see. Hey, well, we champion, didn't know we could do that. Did you realize you were running behind on coins? No. You didn't even think it was a race. <laughs> when two people just like you who care about Pokemon go off on a journey and begin at the same time, of course it's a race. A rivalry through and through. Well, in that case, in the, in the first champion? generation, I don't suppose you've had Blue a chance to meet our champion yet. You should head to Aetherin City. I hear right now he's we beat him back, back, but you, go. you we'll still technically the won the race. The way, where you can acquire your second gym coin. It's only right that champions new and old should meet. And future. That's the spirit. Rest up here, and then in the evening, on to Route 2 and the Elderwoods Forest. I say, hurrah! Well, the day has begun and you're mm. continuing on your journey. At this point, you can, if one of your teammates knows Headbutch, catch the only wild Pokemon in Trickle Town, and that is Team Snooze's ace, Snows, uh. a normal type, and who knows what it'll evolve into. For now, you're leaving out of Trickle Town, this Snorlax time to the west by way of Route 2. There are no new Pokemon on this route, though you'll likely encounter some familiar faces. Barbug, Pikachu, Rattaru, and Slackoffer, all available to you here. And while of course none of those are new cool. Pokemon, it's still great to just catch Pokemon if you're trying to fill out your Pokedex and of yeah. course regional decks. Who knows how some of these Pokemon might evolve. Mm. Wink, wink. Route 2 is relatively short, and the only thing well, to know like is an open source point well. On top of which sits meditating a, a very peculiar peculiar looking character. Well, hello there, star in the making. Yep, you, you're a star. You're reminded of a costume character that had the oh, white and red You don't red recognize afro. me? You're not from around these parts at all, are you? Well, allow me to welcome you to Solidity. AKA the guy say, whose background theme is like the background theme of every MNJ TV video. Well, almost every MNJ TV cool. episode. Did you know here in Solympia, the Pikachu <coughs> only evolve into a psychic type? A Solympian Raichu. Though, I've heard it called the Alolan Raichu, too. All just huh. a matter of perspective, I suppose. Sort of evolves As like that here, too. Interesting. World, we Weird how they would evolve exactly the same into completely different ver in two different forms. regions. But, but you know, digress. Oh, listen to me, rant. it's also weird Man, that they all manage to evolve in the exact same the thing in every big regions, I guess, think about. Say, I like you. Why don't you take this? It's a uh, coconut? Okay, this guy is coconut. nuts, it seems. Still, there is a special feeling you have about it, so you put it in your bag ready for later. We sure this guy's in from Malola? In the Elderwoods forest after waking up there. I, I didn't the know there were coconuts in Looks like they are planning Greece. to build a small town in the forest soon. Olympia such a shame stuff. to lose such beautiful trees. Still, less trees means less creepy Executors, Oh, maybe. you'll see. Anyways, I've taken up enough of your time. Maybe I'll see you again someday. Wow, that was, uh, weird. Okay, strange to say the least. And for the moment, that's where your journey will have to take a small break. I know it's not been as filled with new Pokemon as usual, but just wait, because lying in the Elderwood Forest is your next Pokemon gym, is that and so many kinds of regional variants. So for now, let me know how your uh, team's coming along in like the comments. Jiggly Thank you to everyone who's been supporting this series on Patreon. Uh, you can find that using That's the link in the description. Cool. <laughs> Those Patreons go towards series like next this episode, and other big projects on the channel. Variants. I will cool. see you all next week on another Fake Mom Friday for another episode of Pokemon Tempest. And of course, obviously my team doesn't change except for my starter evolving. So other than that, other than new. Later.